Cheers, my friends. Winston Smith here again, and we're fucking talking about Cancer Slugs, Seasons of Sickness, 2013 release. It's a pretty goddamn disturbing cover, if I do say so myself. But the band is quite disturbing as well. It stretches outside of those realms in horror rock or horror punk music. Uh, there's a certain level of fantasy that uh, I think keeps a lot of the fans enthralled and stuff. And this album has a lot less fantasy and just a lot more fucking bloody violence. So <laughs> when it's horror punk, I think there's only one or two songs in here that are actually like, like Dagon, you know, Father Demon. But, uh, you know, for the most, it's very violent, <laughs> vulgar CD. Although it is just like kind of funny at parts. I mean, we, we, as far as murderous satire goes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like track one, girls uh, chained up in the basement making babies to kill. I first read that, and I just laughed because of the how much fucked up it is. It's just like, Jesus, guys, really? <laughs> Motherfuckers. You know, but uh, they produced this album, or Alex Story produced and, rec and wrote these songs, you know what I mean? And so it's not the highest quality. I mean, he's using a fucking one of Doyle's guitars, not, not like from Doyle personally, um, but like the remake of it or whatever. I know the bullshit they sell in the story kind of sounds like shit. Um... I believe, I don't know if Doyle again, for people who don't know, the uh, lead singer of this band is now in Doyle's band, Doyle, uh, from the Misfits, and uh, do the project together, but uh, this isn't about about that, this is about cancer slug motherfuckers. Um, these guys are, are actually pretty good songwriters, you know what I mean? Uh, there's 18 fucking songs on here, and so many of them are pretty good. You gotta, you know, uh, for being... A lot of people could deem them a shitty punk band, you know what I mean? For some people, that's a compliment. For some people, it lets you know what you're getting into. Um, now, it's not too shitty. They, they, they have a bit of diversity. There's some thrash there, a little bit of stoner uh, metal going on. Even a uh, rockabilly song, you know what I mean? Uh, Taking the Nut, uh, which is good. But uh, my favorite song is uh, titled, well, I love Seasons of Sickness just because of the chorus. So catchy, so fun. And... Uh, I, I also do uh, enjoy Girls Chained Up in the Basement, you know, it's, it's just, uh, that one kind of reminds me of Misfits-esque. Uh, I think it could have been a 30 second song though, they didn't have to redo it and then put that sludge part in the middle if you ask me, but who the fuck am I? I'm just some fucking fat guy. Um, Heart for Blood was actually a little over the top for me, but over listening to it a few times it just gets catchy enough to where you just like, <laughs> oh, get, get used to it I guess. So. Uh, there are a few songs on here, like uh, track two, uh, Generation Behind, which almost have a little bit of uh, fucking, like, not the band vlog, oh, what the fuck is it? The Dropkick Murphys, like, type thing. It's just like chanty, uh, oyish punk or something. Uh, which, you know, nothing really wrong with that, I, I reckon, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, overall, it's actually a decent record. If, if uh, you enjoy. Some of the things I have described here, I, I urge you to pick it up, support the group. Um, fuck yeah, cancer slug bitches. Don't try any of this shit at home.